Hi and welcome to the Retail Sales Basic Training Program. In this we will cover soft skills, technical skills and we will talk about body language, sales attire, how do you approach a customer, listening to customer signals and smiling and creating relationships and handling objections and creating a sales pitch, how do you do a closure of a sales and how do you follow up and repeat the customers. Soft skills. What are called soft skills? This is a skill set to be uh, dealt with how a person communicates with another person. Soft skill will determine the quality of communication. It is more about how communication is done and less about the content of communication. Technical skill is completely different from the soft skill. How? Because this is all about the content of what you're going to tell the customer. This is not how you tell the customer, but what you tell the customer. So it is, it is completely of the technical details. When you communicate, when you talk to a customer, it is not that your words are being heard. You are being looked at. And in fact, what you are doing with your body communicates more than what you are actually talking. Around 70% of the communication is observed through your body communication. Some of the bad uh, communication styles are not greeting the customers having a blank face or frowning a face when the customer enters, looking sleepy, slouching or supporting on the tables, keeping your legs folded and looking at the mobile when talking, open-ended, curt answers, no, cannot, tomorrow, maybe. These are bad behaviors in front of customers. It is very important for a salesperson to present himself or herself in front of a customer. They should be dressed neatly a dress which will be very comfortable for the customer and not too uh, colorful, too attractive. In case of a female, it can be a decent dress, anything which is non-distracting. A simple rule when you're approaching a customer, treat him like how you would want to be treated when you're a customer in some other place. And wish the customer always greet and have a nice warm smile. The customers are not to be judged. When they enter, you don't decide whether they're going to buy or no. Be open and talk to them. Be proactive and then talk to them very kindly. Serve them. When you're standing on the floor and when you see a customer entering, you should be thinking about how to make him buy from me and he should come back to you. And remember, when he wants to buy something, he should be able to recollect you as the first person as a reference. He should leave with a pleasant feeling and he should come back for you. Smile is the key sales quality. The shortest distance between two people they say is a smile. And it all starts with a smile. A warm and amazing smile is half the job done in sales. While smiling, you also look better. Smiling is good for your health. Listening to customer skills is very important in the sales process. A customer may ask you multiple questions, but a trivial point according to you may be a very important point for the customer. And when you're actively listening to a customer, you can pick up the signals and then use that to close the whole sale. So listen to him always carefully. Customers most of the times will create objections to make sure that their purchases are really the right one. Customers create objections. They are creating those objections to be sure of what they're going to buy is the right product. They might ask how many years warranty is this product having or they might say the other brand is giving a better price. So whatever it is, you can use the objection to convert that sale. What you sell in a sales pitch is not the actual product. 
in fact it is the building of trust and relationship and the next important step may be selling the product actually the customer can get the product from elsewhere but he comes to you because you are the best in building the trust the actual sales pitch is an important one as the sales executive gains experience he actually develops his own style of pitching on a trial and error basis you can find what style works out for you the best there are few sales professionals who are like magic who can sell anything to anyone and this comes with the practice to be successful in any job that we do we need to do the homework and it is perfectly fit for the sales job too practice your sales pitch collect your technical details learn sincerely from seniors stay close with them and read the books on sales leadership motivation and education learn your product thoroughly sales closure is an important step and many of the sales executives even the senior ones miss on this after an amazing pitch or a discussion people do not ask if the customer would like to buy that thank the customer if he is making a purchase or even if he is going to say i am going to come back follow up is an important process and towards the end of the sale it might be after sale or it might be just to follow up this is an important step because this shows to the customer that as a sales professional you are very sincere about your job and in fact this makes him very happy because you care for him if you do all these processes right then you will have these customers coming to you again then they become your loyal repeat customers this is the dream for any sales executive to have a loyal customer when you do all of those said above you also need to follow your targets because these are going to be the metrics which are going to be measured by your management and then based on that you would be promoted you would be given up higher challenge also be specific with what's your target how you are achieving it and what is the incentive that you can earn plan ahead mary k ash told pretend that every single person you meet has a sign around his neck that says make me feel important not only will you succeed in sales you will succeed in life hope you like the contents of the video and it will be useful in your professional life thank you for listening to the same and please share and like